Hi and welcome to John's Maths Book. In this video, we're going to be looking at deriving the volume of a cylinder using integration. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and I'd be delighted and honoured if you'd subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go over to the whiteboard. Here we have an X, Y axis. If we take this line, which cuts the Y axis at point R, and spin it around the X axis, it creates a cylinder. The equation of this line is y is equal to r. This means that for any value of x, the y value is going to be a constant, which in this case is r. If we think of this cylindrical shape that's been created as being a bunch of infinitesimal number of circles, which I've shown in different colors along the cylinder, then to find the volume of the cylinder, we need to sum up the area of each of these circles. We do that over a distance of h, on the x-axis, which is the height of the cylinder in this case. If the area of each of the circle slices that make up the cylinder is equal to pi r squared, the volume of the cylinder, v, is equal to the sum of the area of all the circle slices. So to find this, we need to integrate pi r squared along the x-axis, so dx, from 0 on the x-axis to h on the x-axis, which represents the height of the cylinder. If we now evaluate this integral, the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared x, obtained using the power rule using integration, and that is from 0 to h. So the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared, and substituting h in for x, minus pi r squared, and if we put 0 in for x, we get the volume equal to pi r squared h. So that's the volume of the cylinder derived using integration. 